What is up guys, welcome back to yet another brand new Major Ben Gaming video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as always. Today we've got some more PlayStation 5 sales figures to talk about uh, on Amazon. These things are actually selling incredibly well. Yes, they may not have sold out, but that doesn't actually matter because Sony has very clearly got enough demand. Like how a product line works with something like this is they are manufacturing all the way up to pre-orders and they have a certain number that they know that they can manufacture. So they're kind of, these are waves of sales, hence why the Amazon ones are later than the PlayStation Direct ones. Uh, so they are making more consoles and thinking, right, we can allocate this many to this area because we've got this many made before that launch day. Um, but I have seen people's emails actually say that they're now getting them after launch day in certain regions. So um, just bear in mind that as well. But uh, we're gonna look at the article here, which is actually the US showing that this was the number one console sale in, in, in the whole of gaming. So above every game sale, above Xbox console sales, literally every single thing. So we're gonna read through this, but then we're gonna take a look at the UK sales to see if that sort of matches. Um, so yeah. The announcement of the PlayStation 5 Pro, okay, we, we we know this about the $700 price tag and the problems there. So on Amazon US, PlayStation 5 Pro is currently the most popular console and the number one bestseller in the PlayStation category. So far, only pre-orders are available and the console itself will be available on November 7th. So this is actually just a PlayStation category. On mine, we're gonna look at the whole of gaming and see where the PlayStation 5 Pro is, see if it's outselling the base PlayStation 5 and also the Series X and S. So far, only pre-orders are available and the console itself will be, yeah, we read that. The PS5 Pro is, yeah, we know about the power. So let's go over to the UK. So this is the UK bestseller in PC and video games as a whole. This includes everything. So PlayStation 10 pound gift card is the top number one. I'm still shocked to see this because for those of you who guys don't know, go to a website called CD Keys and buy PSN top-up cards because you get them way cheaper. Like uh, for me, what I do at the beginning of each month, I look at how many games I wanna pre-order and I look at the value of those games. Very often they come up to like a hundred pounds. So I buy a voucher here for 88 pounds. So for those of you guys who don't know, go do that instead. Even the 10 pound voucher is at least nine pounds 79 you're saving a little bit, but it's just a better way of doing it in my opinion. But anyway, uh, we got FIFA, Roblox, um, other games, a PlayStation controller, a mouse, uh, Nintendo games and stuff. And then you've got the base PlayStation 5 at position number 12. Uh, you've got Metaphor, ReFantasio. I'm looking forward to playing this. I haven't actually uh, dived into this one yet, but I've heard very, very good things. Uh, a mouse, a very popular Fortnite mouse, I might add, that I used to use a long time ago. Uh, a DualSense, a, a Elite controller, a base PlayStation 5 Slim, um, Astrobot, and then the PlayStation 5 Pro sitting at number 28. Now, actually, this was at number three over the weekend, but now is it sitting at, play at number 28? And again, we have not had a single Xbox console. Now, I don't think that's the biggest deal in the world. I think comparing this to the Xbox position is more valid. Um, because the PS5 Pro is a new product in the end of the day, of course it's going to have more sales at the start, but the fact that the base PlayStation 5 is number 12, and wasn't there, yeah, number 12 here, and we haven't, we're not even yet to see a series console at this time, we're gonna keep going, and still nothing, We've got controllers, more games, like Mario Kart is still number 41, uh, that game's been out for ages, and it's crazy, Xbox gift cards, more PlayStation, another £10 one as well, and then we have a Series X at position 49, still not, a, sorry, Series S, still not a Series X though, um, Right, onto the next page. 51, more like controllers, uh, MetaQuest stuff. Meta so MetaQuest is actually outselling the Xbox Series X right now. It's just insane. Um, Robox gift, gift cards, PlayStation 5 DualSense, a red one. Like literally a red DualSense controller is outselling the Series X platform. This this gives me great concern for the, for the Xbox platform in the UK at least, because it's just UK sales, so just bear that in mind. The blue controller's outselling Series X. Sonic is a new game, and here we go. Series X is 76th position on the best-selling chart, which, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not good. The fact that the, all those other things we just looked at are outselling that platform 
is a little bit concerning and something that does not make me very happy. I want Xbox to do well, even though I might prefer PlayStation and play a lot of my games there. I want Xbox to compete. It's very important they do because we need a system to compete with Sony. Otherwise, Sony is just going to use us for even more money. They already take so much from us. They're going to take even more if we uh, if we have one console in that market. Um, but yes, so the PS5 Pro anyway is sitting at number 28. I think this is still fully for sale and releasing on the so on the 7th so you actually get that or delivered on the 8th this is something i want to talk about briefly is amazon pre-order stuff is very annoying for like physical game copies and also consoles because they tell you this item will be released on the 7th but in a lot of cases for my games i've had games say this releases on this date and it will say here the same date but then like a day or two before i it will say you're getting it the following day I'm like, I literally pre-ordered the game for a reason. What are you doing? But anyway, I don't want to go on that tangent right now, at least. But this is selling very, very well. It was at number three position in gaming in the UK. It may have been at number one at one point. I didn't sit there and refresh this over my whole weekend. But to still be at number 28, not far off the other other two standard consoles when these have had sales and things like that is actually not very bad like this is the thing this console is selling people may be like laughing at it because it's not sold out or whatever but there's two things you've got to remember one this is a very niche very expensive console that it is for the the gamers who are wanting more out of a system nobody has to buy this thing this is an optional optional pro model for those people who want higher fidelity have the tv displays for it um I just want additional power for their games to look better so that's one thing the second thing is obviously incredibly expensive the fact that this thing is still selling as well as it is is well two things one very good for sony but also very bad for us because we've kind of shown that we people are going to go out and buy a 699 console and they will be looking at this and thinking about their pricing for next gen now i've had a few comments recently say wow, you're supporting a 699 console, you're gonna better expect to pay this for, for next gen PlayStation 6. That's not guaranteed. Find me an article that tells me that it's gonna be 699 or more for the PlayStation 6, because that's not true. We don't know yet. Nobody knows officially. If I was to speculate and give my opinion, I don't think they would price a base console anywhere near this for next gen, in my opinion, because you're going to just stop all the average consumers who buy like a console for Call of Duty or FIFA or Madden or whatever. Like those people will not go out and spend that amount of money to play these games. They just won't. Simple as that. So I think that this whole thing is probably just for the pro niche model. This is a very powerful system using architecture that is not even available on PCs yet um, using RDNA 4. So it's something that's just not available. It's very, very cutting edge hardware in terms of the GPU. And this thing is expensive. Again, if you try to build a PC to this, you're not going to do it. I don't care what you say. You're not going to do it with brand new parts. You're just absolutely not. So yeah that, that's the situation it is a powerful console it is going to cost you and i don't think they will do that for next gen but also something to consider is with next gen we don't know there might just be streaming options they might just be streamed options like that you just plug in a little box into your tv and you just stream the game to that box we don't know that these things these things are going to become special things that are like not something we're just going to have we're not going to have consoles forever we're probably not going to have pcs forever the pc fans that like to say oh there's not going to be consoles there may not be native pcs anymore i'm sure windows probably is working on little boxes that just stream your entire windows experience to your home i'm sure that's going to be a thing and that will be a thing for pc gaming as well not just console so there may be a thing at, at next gen may the bottom the base xbox might just be a streamed box and then they may have a pro model that's crazy expensive they talked about this ultra powerful uh box which you're gonna have to pay for and maybe the same for playstation 6 you might have a playstation 6 just a streaming box or playstation 7 maybe i don't know when they would do that and then the pro is just like this ultra powerful thing that they do at launch at the same time so you have like a stream box and then a very expensive console so that they can allow you to uh, play these games natively at a premium because that is a privilege to do that these 
these days uh, or will be in the future. I genuinely think there's not going to be much hardware. You can hold me to it. You can save this video in the future one day. I don't know, 10 years. I don't think we're going to have much native hardware running games anymore, especially consoles, but then PCs in the future as well. So I don't know, but it's coming and I don't like it, but it is something that's going to happen. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it. And uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Are you picking up a pro? Are you think the sales are terrible let me know i'm not on either side i don't care like i just enjoy talking about this stuff i'm buying a pro so i'm happy um but it seems to be selling well and i think it's good for the ai stuff that we talked about the other day with machine learning so thanks for watching and bye bye for now